Okay, we are back here at Burien Impress because at this point, I just want really good quality coffee. <laughs> and so I decided to go with that honey cinnamon latte. I forget what they call it. Um, maybe somebody who watches this can fill, fill us in on it, but it's just amazing. Very well flavored, very well balanced. And uh, I did get an extra shot, but um, today they were like, well, you could either get two, three, or four. So I was like, well, let's just do four then. And so, yeah, can't say uh, enough good things about uh, Burien Press or Moonshot Coffee. Right now we're gonna head to Seattle to get a couple of souvenirs for uh, for my parents. And then I don't know what else for the rest of the day. We are headed to the original Starbucks because they are fans of Starbucks and see if we can't find them something good and specific to this area, of course. So headed back into Seattle. Hopefully the line's not too long. Last time it was pretty horrendous. It is Saturday, so I'm hoping for the best. Maybe a lot of people decide to stay in. I don't know. Anyhow, headed out there right now. So we're back at Pike Place Market and man, it should have got the, the souvenirs earlier in the week, but right now we're headed back to it. And there's like, I would say probably about 10 times the amount of people here, unfortunately. So I'm almost guessing that the line is gonna be substantial. Oh, wish me luck. We just got done here at Starbucks, man. We were waiting in line for about an hour and a half. That was the most horrendous thing I think I've had to do since we've been here in Seattle. The lady who was letting people in said it hadn't been this busy for about two years. So it was the busiest day in two years. And uh, I wouldn't doubt it. It was ridiculous. And I would say if you're gonna come here, come here early in the week or midweek when hopefully nobody will be here. We came the first time, there's only probably about 15, 20 people in line. This time there had to have been at least 100 ahead of us. So if you have to go to the first Starbucks, definitely go midweek, we're out of here. So we're a little bit famished, so we're gonna go to the fish guys, which we saw on another YouTube channel. So hopefully it's just as good as that person said it was.
so I meant to do um, a taste test or kind of tell you guys exactly what I would what the food was like at the Fish Guys. The Fish Guys was uh, really, really great. The raw fish, the poke, the salmon, super, super good. Um, it wasn't stringy or anything like that, but when you bit into it, it was just like you bit right through it. It wasn't tough at all. Um, I don't know, that may be kind of confusing to some of you, um, but some of the locations where I'm at, it's kind of tough and kind of stringy, and so it's a little off-putting, but here you bite right through it. it. Tastes fresh, tastes great, and being near uh, a port makes sense that it would be that fresh. I live more inland in the valley, so it might not be that fresh, but um, that was good. Um, the shrimp was, was pretty good. I thought it may have been a little overcooked, and it was like really heavy on the garlic and, um, and butter a little bit, so kind of had to offset that with the rice and then the, the crab salad and the portions were tremendous like neither one of us um finished our meals we took it home with us and ate it a little bit later but um ultimately really good place and uh we left right after that to come back here and then we passed out <laughs> for for a couple hours and uh, now we're just getting ready to pack up and get ready for tomorrow tomorrow's gonna be a long day we're planning on stopping at a few other places hopefully not quite sure if we're we're going to because it's, it's it's gonna be such a long day anyhow so that's gonna do it for this trip uh it was a good trip i'm glad we came up here just kind of get away just experience the weather and the coffee especially you know moonshot coffee and beer impress the best coffee in this area oddly enough sip and chip <laughs> is a close second just great coffee good food great experience so um, I'm happy to be here, but kind of can't wait to get home and just relax and be in my own surroundings. So anyhow, that's going to do it for me tonight. We'll see what uh, tomorrow brings and uh, what, where we end up stopping. But have a good night.